Welcome to the tiny house. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> This is, this is, and still, and was our <laughs> former house. Yes. Welcome to the tiny house. <laughs> yes, we built it 10 years ago. Wow, the time is going so fast. Why we decided to make a video in here today is because in this house, in the tiny house, this is where everything started for, for us. We felt inspired to tell you that story because this is quite uh, out of the ordinary and actually this wasn't planned at all for us. We started out in an apartment like a lot of young people with no money, no plan for the future basically but all we knew is that we were deeply dissatisfied with our life and we decided to change it for the better. We were lost. <laughs> yeah basically and I had this obsession for tiny houses and I was always telling Remy how cool I thought it was that people were downsizing their belongings because I think I needed to make space in my life basically so just get rid of all the junk and this is both physically and metaphorically too I needed to process a lot of things that happened to me in the past and to me it was deeply philosophical to downsize all my belongings and be able to build a tiny house and at first Remy wasn't too fond, fond of my idea <laughs> but we, t we talked about it some more and then he realized that there was also a very logical aspect to building a tiny house which was that it, would, it was really cost effective for us we were losing a lot of money renting and we decided that we could uh, save that money and invest for the first time in something that would belong to us. So this is how the, the story of our whole lifestyle shifted for us with the build of this uh, tiny house. Yeah, and at this time, this land was, was not to us, it was my father's land. So it was not a, a question to live here. So we didn't have really a place to live and we didn't have the money to buy a land too so the tiny house was a good way because I asked my father if we can put the tiny house here and he said yes but at that time it was always like a temporary moment and we will find a land later or something like that uh, finally everything turned out completely different but the fact is you don't actually really need a land to get started. No, and you don't need to feel ready because that was the thing for us. We weren't ready oh, no. to to really to move or we didn't have that whole picture in our life yet that we would change our whole lifestyle. We just thought we need to get out of this apartment. We don't have anything, no money. So we can put a tiny house, which has wheels, on, on this land and maybe yeah. move it in the future if we find another place to stay. Yeah, but you need money to build a house, you know? But no, <laughs> no. you don't! <laughs> I'm sure you're, you're living somewhere at the moment, you know? We were living in a, a small apartment. It was costing, up, cost, I think, $600 a month, yeah. which isn't a lot. And when we decided to move in here to build the tiny house, we were living in this whole old crappy... Um, how camper trailer. Cam like. Yeah, it wasn't really a camper trailer. There's like a tent on the trailer. Maybe we'll insert a picture there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so it was like camp camping basically. And um, the amount of money that we were putting each month into our rent we put into the tiny house we didn't have anything like not uh, one more cent basically yeah. to give you a context at that time we were in debt before uh, because of the schooling process the beautiful schooling process yeah well. and um, finally we don't use our uh, schooling you know yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> <Anyway>. that <laughs> diploma yeah no let's not talk yeah. about that okay. too much yeah. that's another subject yeah. but i i'm not shy to share numbers with you like to give you an idea i was forty thousand dollars in debt from from school because i i went to school for a long time <laughs> yeah and for me i didn't have debt at that time but i have no money like to spend on nothing i have i was totally broke i have I was at zero, basically. <laughs> zero. And um, yeah. so we start building this house with no money. We just 
work a little bit, make a little bit of money, buy some tool, buy some metal to to work with the trailer frame. After that, we even stole wood from an old house somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like a house that nobody lived there for like 15 years, so no worries. Yeah, it was an abandoned <laughs> place, yeah. just to... <laughs> and were we, not thieves. <laughs> yeah, and we found windows on the side of the road and so all this house cost us around $15,000 so that is really good because at that time we can live somewhere comfortably yeah. uh, with, uh, with heat because before that in our apartment it was super cold and we were weren't we we were not comfortable and now we were super comfortable the winter was super hot I mean super hot, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it was so hot in here, you don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, it was the first time in our life that we, we felt wealthy, yeah. like we had everything, uh, all our basic needs were met. We were running the stoves like, like mad people, <laughs> Yeah, that's why it was so hot. But also we had a comfortable place, we didn't have too much stuff going on, so yeah, it was very a, bl a blessing for us actually to start living in, in this place. And we see a lot of videos lately about, um, you know, the down downside of uh, tiny house living or how negative it it is. But it it was not that experience. Uh, yeah, don't don't get discouraged by the people on the internet. You know, there's a lot of experience that you can live, and you only choose what experience you live. You know, because here it was just paradise. For you, give you a, a, a context, this house is a 300 square foot with the dormer at the top and we we lived in this house for five years, three of us, and we were really comfortable. So if we do a little bit of math, it costs us only $250 per month to live here in paradise, in the forest, yeah. alone, no, uh, no stress about the money mm -hmm. and we were so, so happy. And after that, we decided to build the, the log house that you probably see in the, the, the other video. And we start renting this house, but we don't really planning to do that. It just happened. We moved the out and somebody just came here and said, Hey, I searched, I searched a place to live. Can I borrow your tiny house for like three weeks? And we said, okay, nice. And those people stay three years. And, in the last four years, the tiny house paid for all expensive of the land. And I said that for the, the wood, the wood stove, the tractor, the diesel, the electricity, the taxes, everything. So yeah. now we just live here for free. Basically, yes. Yeah, and have mm. some friends come to visit and everything. So it's just like perfect. So if you want to yeah. do it, do it. Yeah, and I think the big lesson that we we learned from this experience is that no matter where you live what is your circumstances right now there's always choices that you can make and sometimes you need a leap of faith to make those choices but i'm sure the opportunities will be presented to you and you'll have the choice to seize them or not and what we encourage you to do is to just make the choice that feels good to you you know even if it doesn't make sense at the moment like with the, your reason, it, it will make sense later. I'm pretty sure if you follow that feeling, it's really important and it has become a, the whole of our lifestyle, basically. Every time there's an opportunity for us to thrive even more, we seize that opportunity, even if it's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That was the message, you know? Yeah. And 10 years on the road, moving in this tiny house was the best idea that we never, never had because and it was the starting of our business, you know. I started crafting wood and I mm -hmm. tried a lot of things and I realized that I don't want to do a lot of them. But now <laughs> I, more, more I'm going, more I know where, I, where I'm going and it's really fun to do that. And same thing for Noemi. Yeah. Now she, you live... Uh, yeah, I live uh, for, like everybody was telling me from a very young age, I was always drawing, uh, I was a very um, creative kid. But I didn't thought it was possible to be an artist and just live from what you craft, basically. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of that stigma that goes around, especially with the creative fields like painting, arts, theater, things like that. But the truth is, there's a way, there's always a way. 
but you need to actually be creative about it and seize the opportunities and not say no out of fear basically yeah we tried a lot of things some of them didn't work out we failed at a lot of things mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we pivoted and started something new basically just uh, being guided by our feeling of the experiences we were living yeah okay so i hope you liked this little story of how we were getting started <laughs> with an alternative lifestyle if you have any questions just drop them down in the comment section we try to answer every comment and we are really happy to hear from you too yeah, oh, yeah. so see you soon bye bye, bye. <laughs> yes and uh, you don't see anything from it right now so we, there's gonna be some b-roll let's get it i want to say what we're talking about yeah okay ah okay ah but i have an idea wait i'm going to turn the chauffage okay i'm going to turn the chauffage ah but no it's your friend it's your friend okay Oui, c'est ton ami.